And John Mun used to start every day with thoughts of goodwill. He actually had a chant that specified the ten directions, beings in all ten directions. And then he classified the different kinds of beings. He started out with beings in general, and then went to human beings, devas, beings in the lower realms, men, women, noble people, people who are not yet noble. Take a good while for him to keep spreading direct goodwill in all directions. And it's a good way to start the day. It establishes you here in the middle. You can think of the people in the various directions that you know, and then spread it out to all the people even you don't know. I realize that wherever you go in the course of the day, you want to have goodwill for people in that direction. Putting yourself in the center, though, reminds you that what you really have to watch out for are your own actions. This is why we develop thoughts of goodwill. Sometimes we're told it's because we're all one. Well, we're not all one. If we were all one, we wouldn't be doing the things we are to one another. Sometimes we're told it's because other beings deserve it. Well, nobody really deserves goodwill. But you deserve your own goodwill if you want to be happy. So everything comes out of your actions. That's what you're responsible for. Other people are responsible for their actions. They're in the center of their worlds. So you take care of the world that you know, and be responsible in the world that you know. And remind yourself every day you establish the parameters. Wherever you go today, you're going to try to have goodwill for people who are easy to have goodwill for, people who are difficult to have goodwill for. This is a Brahma Vihara literally a Brahma dwelling. This is the attitude the Brahmas have. It's not the attitude we're born with. As human beings, we tend to be partial in our goodwill. We have goodwill for people who are good to us, and ill will often over people who have done harm, harmful things to us. But the Buddha says you've got to have goodwill for everybody if you want to be able to trust yourself, if you want to be safe. There's so much in the Buddha's teachings that deal with protection, and this is one of the ways that we protect ourselves. If you're acting on goodwill, you're not going to be doing anything to harm anybody. And that way you don't create any bad karma. So try to establish this framework every day. Then the world becomes a place where you can exercise your goodwill. It's not like dedicating merit to others. When you dedicate merit, as soon as you've dedicated the merit, that's done. From that point on, it's up to them to appreciate or not appreciate what you've done. But with goodwill, you have to carry it out in your thoughts and your words and your deeds as you go through the whole day. So be responsible for your goodwill. And develop it in a responsible way.